Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. Ben and Alonzo with you. Homeland, Season 5, Episode 7, Oriole. Yep. Uh, that's Carrie, as it turns out. Yes. Because I guess we've now learned we got the why. Sort of the why as to why she's being targeted. Well, yeah, we have an idea. We, we don't have, know the, we we know a, the we details. A, we have but an introduction to why. Yes. We're, uh, we're starting to An old case up. relating to Baghdad, a guy... Uh, an Ahmed Chalabi like character who right. largely caused the Iraq War, uh, you know, a fraud. A purveyor of crappy intelligence. Purveyor intel. of crappy intelligence, uh, curveball. Uh, there were none of, that, none of that stuff really happened. Um, <laughs> purveyor, purveyor of terrible intelligence because he wanted a role in the government, and then it turns out we thought died in a blast, but is alive. Yes. And walking around. Yeah, <laughs> walking pretty, pretty around Brussels cash, like yeah. it's Amsterdam. No, Amsterdam, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, and obviously I'm assuming this is all going to leak back, link back to Allison's identity as the mole, you know, going back to the Baghdad office. Right, but we, uh, yes, right, right, right. And she, uh, but we learned about Allison, like she's, uh, this is, she hasn't been recently turned. No, no, she's, this, this is, is a lifelong. The, it's the Americans. Yeah, that's totally, right. you're right. Yeah, yeah she's Claire yeah. Danes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> she's, uh, uh, not Claire Danes, uh, Carrie not Claire, Russell. This is Claire Danes, <laughs> this sorry. Is like yes. Carrie Russell, right, right. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, that was good. I thought it was an excellent episode yeah because it, it it definitely is one of those episodes where you say, uh, no right. it was like shut up Saul don't tell Allison that right. right don't turn on there, there's no level that you can turn this music to this is gonna make this okay yeah. <laughs> um, I love I mean Peter such a good agent I mean mm. that stuff that he pulls I mean as always is from the first season I love the spy stuff and the, <laughs> the crap he pulled with those ISIS guys and yeah. of course that's some of that's a little difficult to watch planning an attack mm. on Berlin and there was a this, that, this episode came with a disclaimer. This episode fact, came yeah. with a disclaimer, but uh, he tells these guys uh, he does the thing about the Jordanian passport. Mm. I'm sure it's nonsense, but it was a way for him to keep like the make best it guy seem out, like probably. he was ready to walk away. Like oh well, is, sure, yeah. Like he was super apathetic, you know. And maybe it was about getting one of the guys out because it's five is too many or whatever. Yeah, but or mostly, he's the best sharpshooter. Mostly, or I think it was a way to be like him to go. All right, hey, look, if he goes, that's fine, go, but I'm not going. Like, there's no, they have no reason to think that he is anything but in this for the money. Yeah, yeah, because he's, he's definitely been playing the reluctance card the whole time. He's like, yeah, I don't, well, I don't. Mm -hmm. mm. 10, and then immediately tells Dardal, oh, so here's what's happening. Uh, your uncle tells him the guy's never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he tells Dar, you're not going to believe who was. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Dar with the, I don't like, I hate guessing. Yeah, you don't want to play poker against Peter Quinn. So let's get, so Dar Adal, is his first name Dar and his last name Adal? Adal, yes. All right. So, so it's not like, not like a Kyle. How many seasons in with this character are <laughs> it's we? It's not like Kyle Dar Adal. <laughs> no, Dar Adal. Um, uh, so uh, I don't really believe that Dar and Saul would split so quickly. The Dal would, the, the Dar would come so quickly to believe that where we got thrown that thirty-year-old well, Israeli thing. Yeah, I mean the the Soviets, they 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 are not the Soviets. What, am I, what era is this? The the Russian guy tells Allison, look, Israel is his weak point. Mm -hmm. He knows that that's like this bone of contention that has existed between the two of them, and they're clearly exploiting that. So I bought it in terms of the show, is even though. You know, again, it's like we've never heard of Allison before this season, but now we know she's this important character who's enmeshed yeah, in the yeah, lives that, that, of these that, people. That, we've never heard about Dar's uh, about about Saul's thing with the, the Mossad agents, but now right, it's being established it, as a real thing. Well, that makes sense because we we do, of course, know that there's a there has to be a long history with these characters, and we haven't met all of them. Right. Um, just something about the, the they were they're so on the same page, and they've so grown to trust each other that I ex when when he got taken out of the Elevator. Yeah, I thought it was Dar, like that. They're once again they're oh, so in they're, something together. Right, right, right. He's they're like, pulling oh, sorry, one over. we had to go through that. I know you're telling the truth. Okay, <laughs> so what do I need to no. know, really? Yeah. Uh, but no, of course, it's the and now he's got a fake defection. Yeah, yeah. Israel. This this is just going to get more and more complicated, which I love. Yeah. Uh, and of course, I think we we've definitely learned on this show that you know. If Kerry got you out of Baghdad and you're getting your life together and you're pursuing that MBA, you now have a giant fucking target on your back. Yeah, just like, say, oh, I mean, this is a new character who's all these things are going so great for. Well, you're you're a red yeah, shirt. I you mean, know. Oh, totally. I mean, it was just that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I mean, he couldn't have had a red shirt on more. I'll just go down. I'll beam down with you guys. I'll just check yeah. it out. I'll come I back up. And... One more payment on this life insurance, <laughs> and then my family's set up for life. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Totally. Oy. Uh so he was, uh, and then, I mean, that was just such, I mean, how many times have we seen that scene getting in the car? She's oh, like, yeah. Okay, quick. Let's go. To the train station. Uh, oh, that's right. But that scene in the house was yes. super tense. Very. And as soon as she punched that window, I was like, don't. 
do that. That's gonna. <laughs> that is, you are gonna pay for that decision. Uh, or at least grab a broom and dustpan. You know. Dust it up, right? Yeah. Exactly. Stop making it so. The, the, the good chefs clean up as they go along. <laughs> right. Totally. 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 <laughs> um, but uh, and I, of course, you know, I'm such. Sometimes I'm so sophisticated and sometimes such an idiot. When the when the guy got picked up, when the Iraqi non-dead Iraqi yes. walk of the dog got picked up in the park. I was like, oh, how random that other people recognized him and picked him up. Like, I didn't, even though we just <laughs> seen 10 minutes, the Russians are like, no, we'll go to Amsterdam and we'll get him. <laughs> and so until the guys break in speaking Russian, I'm like, oh, oh yeah. That's who went and got the guy. And I thought, it, and I was like disappointed in the randomness of it, but it's, it's not random at all. <laughs> No. They were going to get him. They were going to. They yes. knew where he lived. Yes, Ben. Yeah, that's because that's the whole thing they don't want revealed. Uh, let's talk about During. During. So my other prediction was that During was not to be trusted. I've been saying that throughout, right. and and I think he. I think that we saw the beginning of it in his, in his that that or he's up to something in that well, conversation. I, you know, I wasn't sure because I, I I didn't know if that because of the conversation that Carrie had with him about how. Her dream would be to run off with Jonas, but he's mm -hmm. not going to now because of, you know, blah, blah, blah. I thought that him saying, oh, we're going to fire her was actually his way of being like, she's getting away from this stuff. You guys might actually have a future. Oh, and because he says you shouldn't. Right. Yeah. Like a way of saying he's firing her without telling him what is really going on. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's he, in or anything like he, maybe. That, yeah. I mean, so he, maybe he was looking out for them as a couple and trying. Yeah, to, right. I, that could be like the super generous, uh, you know, interpretation. But that was kind of that was the first thing that came to mind. Like he would say to her, I'm firing you. And she would go, no, I want to do this. And he's like, I'm firing you. I'm giving you a two million dollar severance. Right. I'm firing you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, I bought a new boat for your lake house. <laughs> right. Lake exactly. house. Right. You know. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So but, but he didn't. He, Maybe. he he didn't he, uh, uh, as He's, far as as far as we know he didn't go through the files and he didn't hand them off to he didn't hand them off to, to Laura Poitras Laura Poitras exactly yeah uh, yeah so and he shouldn't like as a as an you know as a uh, as an open secrets advocate in right. general yes although not a not a, a limited one but well I'm I'm I like there's a rule of uh, there's the guys doing guys solid like Saul didn't trust him. But Saul had that nice moment of, sure. I think she's telling the truth. I got to trust you. Just give it to her. He can't. He can't leak it. He can't yeah. leak it. It's not. That is. It would not be the. It's, it would violate the bro code. It would. It would very much violate the bro code. Even. Uh, um, so anyway, good. Uh, uh, you know, I, I thought uh, it, totally gripping stuff, and, yeah. and 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 headed for more. And and uh, the the, you know, to see two agents like Peter and Dar, just eating the. German sandwich that looked <laughs> right. great, whatever oh, yeah. it was. And the I get it. These guys are planning an attack. I mean, right now they're, they're ready to go back and fight with the Islamic State, but they had been planning an attack. I love that Dar just got that Peter thwarted it. <laughs> you know, well, not anymore. And he's like, oh, uh, good for you. Nice You're play, well played. Right, but then he, uh, um, but that they're like, oh, great. So we'll just, uh, you know, we'll take him across and you'll let us know where you are and we'll kill him. Like, and they're Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, just to fickle on the bench, yeah. you know, ease of exterminating La -da, life. Whatever, I got it. Yeah. I got it. These guys, you know, got to go in the world we live in, I suppose. But uh, I don't know. It was... Uh, it was yeah, the show doesn't harbor any illusions about how this stuff works, right. I guess. But also, I found that to be a... Like, that affected me. That, yeah. that, that reached me. I thought it was, some, it was good, good TV making. I, I just failed to see... Oh, I mean, I don't fail to see it. I get it, and I, I must say this. I guess from the, I can only say it from the perspective that I that I am, you know, as a as a white American. But considering I have reacted to other shows that I think this show is spreading Islamophobia wildly, right? I don't feel it with Homeland. I don't see no. it. I don't see. It. I think they do a a pretty good job. I think of, if, of if, being if, balanced. if if I think the worst you can say about it is that it accurately portrays certain aspects of foreign policy that a lot of people don't like yeah and it doesn't you know go out of its way to say "Ooh, this is bad but it yeah. just it portrays it and just lays it out so this is what's happening and it's this certainly is how it goes, doesn't make know? it seem like like we're yippee all, america we're yeah. always good right I mean, right this is yes. ugly this is not 24. right 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 okay good do, stuff. do oh, we think allison is going to survive the season no no dad i don't think she oh well she did yes yes that's how committed i am it's like <laughs> three, three seconds to change my mind <laughs> Because she keeps talking about how she's not interested in life in prison, I think she might get life in prison. Or we'll have that moment of the, the you know, at the end of uh, Where Eagles Dare, where you're given the choice of public Poison humiliation pill. or you 
jump out of the airplane. Oh, you right, know? right. <laughs> she, she may have that moment yeah. that they let her kill herself. Um, so uh, so I'm back to no. no she does not. <laughs> well, okay. and also I think for the, that way the CIA can pretend that, oh, she died bravely in duty and what that's a right. loss no, no. for us. And what? No, she was great. You know, that's, you that's, know. The, that's the great ending to War Eagles Dare. Right. Like, we don't want to humiliate the country. You're a British spy. Jump out of the plane. Yeah, there's no parachute. But we'll speak of you well. There you go. To your family. Bye bye. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, back uh, next. Oh, I guess. Well, we in yeah. two weeks. Back in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, with uh, more Homeland. Thanks for watching.